Now, Radar, half a chance tonight. What are your thoughts? No, I don't think so, Bernie. I think uh, I think it's out of time I'll dug you tonight, mate. So, uh, you know, hopefully I'll pile well, but uh, I think it's out of those two. Oh, well, good luck anyway, mate. Now, who have you brought along today? Oh, I've got my uh, lovely girlfriend, Jamie, mate. Uh, she's looking stunning, as always. She's looking pretty nice. Now, who's, who's dressed you tonight, Jamie? Um, I'm wearing Alexis George. Oh, beautiful work. Oh, good luck, Radar, and we'll see you in a bit later. Ed, looking sharp as always. Dress yourself or? Nah, mate, I always just listen to Danielle. She put this little creation together about 10 minutes ago, but uh, no, it's not about me tonight. It's obviously about the lovely right here. I'm uh, glad you mentioned that. Moving on to far more important things. Who dressed you tonight, Danielle? Uh, this is a vintage Oscar de la Renta dress. That is a very long name, but looking <laughs> stunning. We'll see you in there for a drink in a second. Thanks, guys. All right, here we've got Brad and Alicia. Brad, spend a bit of time on the hair by the looks of it. How much, how much time do you really spend in front of the mirror, Alicia? Well, I got home pretty late and he was all ready, so good. Yeah, fair bit, I reckon. Nice pink tie too. But more importantly, who dressed you tonight? Um, this is a girlfriend's dress from Wild Child. So. Okay. <laughs> okay, good work. Well, I'm sure we'll have a good night. I look forward to having a drink with you guys. Thanks very much. Now, I'm here with one of the out-and-out -out favourites at the moment. Could win it. What are your thoughts, Doug? No chance, Burn. Just like I thought, just like I thought you were last year, mate. No chance, but you got a jockey, so. Nah, just here for a good night, so it looks like it will be that. So looking forward to a couple of quiet beers, and we'll see what happens. Good to see you brought the uh, the lady along. No, <laughs> no one there, mate. What is, what's going on there? Just like your good self, mate. You know. I brought VB. Who'd you bring? Yeah, well, nah, you got me there. Nah, just by myself. So looking forward to a good night, as I said, and. Uh, Staying out of trouble. Ah, good work, mate. Who's your tip anyway for tonight? And you can't pick yourself. I can't. Okay, that makes it hard. Nah, <laughs> I reckon uh, Scotty Thompson or Stiffy Johncock, big chance. So hopefully one of them get it, if not myself. Ah, uh, well, you, we you're my tip, mate. So good luck tonight and uh, look forward to having a beer with you. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Here with the famous head trainer. Has been injured in a game before. Went down with a nasty, nasty head knock uh, a couple of years ago in the, in the showdown. So he knows what playing footy is all about, the hard knocks. Who's your tip for tonight, Vin? You, uh, you know the boys pretty well, inside and out. Uh, my, my tip for tonight is uh, Scotty Thompson, number five. Uh, you know, How could I guess that? Uh, well, you know I'll that. tell you what, to Tomo, you look after him around the place, don't oh, you? I do look after him. Any special treatment that he wants, he gets, and that's it. And that's what might get him over the line, you reckon? I'm hoping. I've, uh, I've had a chat to the CEO, so we'll see how we go tonight. All right. Look forward to the count, mate. We'll have a beer later. All Sounds thanks, good. Mate. Thanks, mate. Dog, been around for a while, mate. You know what it takes to win a, win a best and fairest. Who's your tip this year? I don't know what it takes, Bernie. I've never won one, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know players coming through what it takes. Who, who's your tip, mate? Uh, I reckon uh, Tomo might edge out Dougie. Uh, he'll bolt home late. In a close one. No stiffy? Nah, he hasn't played enough games. He'll be uh, fourth or fifth, I reckon. What about yourself, mate? Rate yourself any chance? No chance at all, mate. Uh, just like me, mate. No worries. I'll see you in there. Right, I'm here with the CEO, Stephen Trigg, who, uh, actually, you can't give a tip, can you? Because uh, you actually got a bit into uh, the information. It's actually right there, Bernie. Oh, OK, well, I'm not going to look at that. I'm not going to look at it. I'm not sure that's Bernie Vince somewhere near the top this year. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll be anywhere near it. But um, oh, I'm going to have to get your tip for something else then. Maybe, uh, what, best team man? Now, best team man's a good question because uh, there'll be a few guys in line for that, I reckon. You could throw a blanket over Doughty, Douglas, Stevens. Uh, who else we got in there? Maybe a Benny Rutten at the yeah, back? Yeah, yep, uh, definitely. Anyway, I do know that one as well. So, oh, uh, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll I'll tell you one what. Tip. It's one of those five. There you go. Oh, okay, no worries. Well, that gives us a bit of an inside information anyway. But I'm uh, a bit stuffed for questions with you. I didn't think of that. All right, thanks, Treggy. Good on you, Bernie. Cheers. I'm here with uh, with Bigger Van. Jeez, you're looking bloody suave tonight, mate. Where'd you get the suit? Uh, the same place you got yours, Suit Co. Oh. Great place, that too. We better pump that up. Uh, who'd you bring with you tonight? I brought my lovely partner Erin. She's over there. Chad, you want to flip the camera around? Have a look. Hey, oh, there she is. Looking good too. Do you know where she got her dress? Or ta um, have a guess, mate. Yeah, I think she got it from uh, Kukai or something like that. No, nah, she didn't Kukai. get it from there. She got it made. It's actually a wedding dress she wore at her sister's wedding. So, oh, buddy, looks good to me. So that'll do. Yeah. Uh, look forward to catching up with you in there, mate. Good work. No worries. See you, buddy. See you, mate. <laughs> Right, I'm here with Bunge and the one, the lovely Rach. 
Uh, who's your tip for tonight, mate? Well, I was going to pick you, but you just didn't want to play this year. <laughs> nah, the bloke is probably hiding next to the camera. You can't see him, but uh, Richie Douglas, um, I reckon he's going to go real close. If yeah. not, um, it'll be Tomo or Stiffy, I reckon. Yeah, nah, fair, fair call, mate, fair call. Now, uh, you've had a wonderful career. How many of these have you won? How many, what do you do with, the, with those yellow jackets? Use them as a chamois. <laughs> you got that many? Now, uh, moving on to more important people, Rach. Uh, who dressed you tonight? Looking wonderful. Um, this is a Ruth Tarvitas dress, care of Nikki at Wildchild. Ah, oh, awesome. Good work. Well, you look wonderful. And, uh, oh, thanks. Hang on. We could be a chance tonight. But, uh, no, nah, I look forward to seeing you in there and we'll have a drink for sure. Thanks. Beautiful. Now, I'm here with uh, Taylor Walker. We've got Richie Douglas here again, but uh, Taylor said he's not going to do it without him and I wouldn't do it without him with a head like that either, mate. What happened to your hair? Yeah, a bit of a mad Monday, mate. Got home and uh, the boys started hacking into it, so I thought I'd let them uh, give me a Kevin Bartlett and come off the next day. Shaved her off, mate. Mate, looks uh, fantastic. I love it. You going to keep that one? Uh, yeah, I'll let it grow back for a little while and see, see how it looks. I'm thinking about uh, skinning it, put a bit of oil on it, see how we go. Nah, it looks what good. About, what about the prawn crackers on the side, Burn? Have a look at the size of that. <laughs> oh, look at those wing nuts, would you? But anyway, uh, who's your tip for tonight? And uh, well, give us your top three. Uh, Tomo, Dougie and Stiffy. The winner? Tomo, Just. All right, good work, Tex. Look forward to seeing you there, mate. Thanks, man. Now, I'm here with uh, Mum and Dad, first of all. Dad, you've actually pulled up a lot sharper than what I've ever seen you. Mum, did you dress him? <laughs> I tried, Jess. What do you think? I thought he was a bit of a twin of you. You've both got your yellow ties on and your blue shirt. I look like that. Jesus. Uh, no, nah, yeah, it would have taken a while to get that ready, I would have thought. But uh, Mum, looking wan wonderful tonight. Where did you get the dress and uh, how much did it cost, Dad? <laughs> Too much. We're coming off a drought and going into a flood at the moment. <laughs> you look wet there. <laughs> no, I got it from uh, out, um, yeah, out Unley Road. Okay, good work. Now, Buzz, did, didn't you read the uh, the invite? You meant to dress up. Well, nobody told me, and I, you know, I can't read. <laughs> you got the glasses on. That's yeah, no excuse. They're, they're running for so you don't trip over. Mate, I reckon you should quickly head home. Chuck something, something else on and come back. Nah, you're looking good, Buzz. You're looking good, Buzz. See you in there, mate. <laughs> right, I've got the uh, the three whiz kids here all living together. D boys, did you dress yourself or Sloane, you're looking all right because you look a bit like me. Very, very similar, don't we, tonight? We won't say where we got it from because uh, it might be the same place. Where'd you get yours? Nah, no, I've had this suit for a while and just kitted up with a couple of shirts and went down to our, our mates at Roger David and... Where's that, where's that other joint? Did you go to that other uh, the Suco. Yeah, Suco. Yeah, good well, spot that actually. We had to pump that up. Nice shoes, nice shoes. Looking the part actually. You'd be half a chance tonight. Not with the best and fairest, but with the. <laughs> now, Shorty, looking the part as well. Cheers, yeah, mate. Who done the hair, mate? Spent a bit of time on that. Got pup to do it for me, so. Yeah, it looks like he's done it. So he's just struggling there a bit. Now, who's your uh, who's your tip for tonight? Uh, go on, Richie Douglas. Rich, Richie Douglas, yeah, good choice. He's a pretty popular choice at the moment. Sloane, I forgot to ask you, who, who's your pick? Oh, Tomo. Tomo. Oh, Scotty. Yeah, I think Scotty's got it. Bit of a favourite for you? Yeah, he's yeah. my favourite. Good work, son. Now, Pup, you've been over here laughing. You're not going to get away with it. <laughs> who's your tip for the uh, the big one? And uh, who's your who's your f who's your favourite for the uh, the Mark Bickley Award, the up and comer? Um, I'd say uh, Richie Douglas to begin with, and uh, I reckon my good mate over here, Rory Sloan, might. Rory Sloan for the Mark Bickley Award. Well, there's been some great players win that, so uh, we look forward to that one. I'll see you boys in there. Yeah, see you in there, mate. Now, I'm here with uh, apparently the most courageous player in the AFL, uh, Patrick. Who's your, uh, who's your tip for tonight? Uh, well, speaking to the sexiest player in the AFL, <laughs> uh, I reckon uh, Scotty Thompson's got it uh, covered tonight. I think it'll be a pretty close contest between him and uh, Richie Douglas, but I reckon Thomas had a pretty good season. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too, mate. Now, you're looking pretty sharp. Where did you had the suit for a while? Or? Uh, nah, Lou Riccardi style. So, uh, Louis, he looks after me, so he's, uh, he's done a good job. Can you just get the quick plug in there for him? Oh, yeah. Good on you, Lou. Good work, mate. Just got to straighten that tight. Yeah, that's better, mate. In you go.